Toy Story 4 is now in theaters, and this is the fourth entry in the Toy Story quadrilogy now. It started out in 1995, you have the second entry in 1999, third entry in 2010, and now in 2019 we have the fourth film. Not gonna lie, before I get into the premise, I wasn't looking forward to this movie at all, actually. I thought it was a bad idea, I thought it was a cash grab, and off top of that, the way the third one ended, it's like, there's really no room. There's no room for any further stories at all. Why would you make a fourth one? And the trailers came out and I was still like, eh. And the premise is quite simple. It's a sim it's simply about uh, Woody, who, you know, is obviously the leader of the group, but he's very nervous because Bonnie doesn't really seem to look at him as the favorite toy. And in fact, Forky is looked at as the favorite toy. And he's something that is literally made from a fork. And she makes him and he doesn't really want to be the toy. He doesn't want to be looked at as a toy. He wants to go in the trash. And Woody must at all times protect him and make him not go in the trash and be there at all times for Bonnie. That's the premise. And I, I wasn't really sure how it was going to be handled. Again, I wasn't looking forward to this. Even with the rave reviews, I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Boy, was I wrong. This film was... It was fantastic. It, it, it really, really, really was great. I was floored. I was surprised. For a film that I was not looking forward to at all, it just exceeded the expectations, the like little to no expectations I had. Like, my goodness. Um, I first just want to talk about the voice acting. I think all around, everyone is great in it. You have the additions of Kay and Peel. They're fantastic. Keanu Reeves, you have, he's an addition. He's fantastic. The usual cast members, Tom Hanks, uh, Tim Allen, they're also great. Uh, Christina Hendricks is also in the film. I think they're all great. The animation is also jaw-dropping gorgeous. It's incredible how far animation has come along. And, I mean, the other three also are incredibly well animated. But this one, I mean, it just really shows just how realistic it looks now. It's kind of crazy, honestly. The score by Randy Newman is also, you know, on point with delving into emotional uh, themes it's really well effective. And speaking of emotions, this film is really, really emotional. It's a perfect balance of emotion and comedy. And it's been a while since I've seen a film that was able to balance both of those. Like for every time that there's a laugh, there's an emotional moment that works really, really well. And I think especially towards the end, for me personally, it worked way too well. I actually had tears in my eyes and I am well in tune with my emotions. You know, I'm not one of those people that have toxic masculinity where I'm like, I will cry. It's like, no, if I, if I did feel those emotions, I'm going to let you guys know. I felt those emotions and it was glorious. It's been such a long time since I felt that in a theater and it was awesome. I loved it. This, this film really knew how to just juice out those emotions and not in a melodramatic way in more of a satisfying fitting and just subverting expectations type of way. It really is great because here's the thing. This film feels very episodic in the beginning. It, it feels as though, what is the point of all this? And it, it ties into the themes of existentialism, which is what the other three films have been focusing on. But it's even more fully realized than the other three, which is kind of crazy because each one builds on that. But the film itself feels as though it's like, well, what is the point of watching this? And then that final act hits and it's like, boom, that's the point. This is, this is the point. It just all ties together. I'm not going to spoil anything because I want you guys to be surprised with what happens. But it's glorious when you see it. Everything else up until that still works very well. Like you have a lot of Stanley Kubrick references that I really dug. You have a balance of, again, comedy and emotional moments. But there's also horror elements thrown away. I mean, thrown into the mix. You have also Road Trip, you know, thrown into the mix. It's just somehow all of these different genres blend so well into this film. There's also a lot of humor that I mentioned it was funny, but it was surprisingly raunchy and um, it was glorious as well. I think if you're going into this movie expecting a deep movie, you'll be pleasantly surprised to find that it is in fact another Pixar film that really does hit home. That's the other thing. Not only was I nervous because, again, how many fourth entries actually work, especially when the third one ended so well, but Pixels are still have been more hit, I mean, miss than hit for me. Like, Finding Dory I thought was okay. Incredibles 2 I thought was okay. Cars 3 I thought was okay. So it's been a while, actually, ironically, since Toy Story 3 that I was like, holy cow, that was great. 
And Toy Story 4, it just it's a really big hit for me. And as far as negatives go, my only thing, and I can't even really call this a negative because in retrospect, I think it worked, is that this film used its script writing to subvert expectations by feeling episodic at first and then turning the dial and saying, no, 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 no. That's the whole theme of existentialism. And then toppling it on its head and saying, gotcha. This was the whole point at the very end. And I liked it. I liked it in retrospect. But while watching it, like about halfway through, I'm like, I liked this movie. I'm like, I'm liking this so far. But, you know, this is kind of feeling a bit, a little bit familiar. But again, by the end, I was like, that's what you did. I see what you did there. But again, I, I can't even really call it a negative. Because for me personally, I just felt so much during this movie. I felt so emotional. I felt like the story beats worked. I felt like the characters worked. The humor worked. The existential themes Everything just worked. The animation, the music, the sound design, it all worked. And I think for me personally, Toy Story 4, you know what? Screw it. I'm giving it a five to five star rating, which for those of that like a hot sauce rating, gets the good old ghost pepper rating. So this is a rarity for those of you that watch my reviews. I don't give this out too often, but I'm saying this right now. Go out and see this movie. Support it. You know, I know Disney doesn't really need the support because they make $20 billion a year. But still, this is a great movie, and I would highly recommend it for kids, teenagers, adults, grandparents, all. Go see it. This is a great movie, and I think you'll get a lot out of it. And I'm curious, when you guys do see this, how would you like it? Did you not like it? Did you like it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, where do you rank this in this series? Rank it in together, actually. Like, for me personally, I'm not going to rank it just yet because I'm still kind of thinking about this. Maybe I need to see it a second or third time before officially putting it down as to where I'm going to put it on my list. But at the end of the day, guys, again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, see you guys later.